This video is brought to you by Pond5. As Watch Mojo inches closer to its 10th birthday, we thought we'd finally shed some light onto what it takes to make our videos. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, you guessed it, we're counting down 10 ways to create great web videos. Number 10. Recognize your passion and interests. As the saying goes, if you don't enjoy doing it, it'll probably suck. <coughs> There's something like that. Everyone from traditional media organizations to basement-based upstarts vies for online video supremacy. To succeed, you need to recognize what you're interested in and focus solely on that. Otherwise, you won't enjoy what you do and it will affect your product. That also comes with the responsibility of recognizing the kind of people you will need to successfully create your videos. For example, Smosh needs people to write scripts. Let's Play videos don't necessarily require more than a one-man setup. Our videos require researchers, voiceover specialists, and video editors to come to fruition. Number 9. Choose the right filming equipment, lighting, and accessories. Newsflash, the internet is a big place. So if your videos don't look good, there's less of a chance they'll put up the numbers you're hoping for. Your needs will vary depending on the kind of videos you'll be producing, but here are the basics. An HD camera, a way to record high-quality audio, and some lighting, natural or otherwise, so your viewers can actually see you. While some accessories may be unnecessary or overkill, basic lighting kits can save you some major headaches in the color-correcting aspect of post-production. Over the years, we've created our own recording studio to increase the quality of our audio recordings. But you'd be amazed to hear what you can achieve with stuff that's just lying around your house. Now I am under the comfort Number 8. Choose the right video editing software. So you've got some great footage and some crystal clear audio recorded. Time to Frankenstein this sucker. But you need software to pull it off. Mac or PC. Either operating system will do. WatchMojo has used Apple's Final Cut software over the years, but products like Avid Media Composer and Adobe's Premiere Pro are also great options. In our case, as we blend multiple types of media, codecs, and audio, Final Cut has been a good fit for our needs. But for those who are new to editing video, simplified programs such as iMovie or Windows Movie Maker are a great starting point. And that's not even touching on mobile video editing. Number 7. Research and Practice Techniques To avoid having to spend more time than needed on set or in post-production, it's best to plan properly. If you're producing scripted entertainment, storyboarding the video is a must. Hello and welcome to Top X, where we count down the very best of YouTube. If you're doing talking head content, practice your delivery. Your mouth is basically an instrument in this case, and believe it or not, speaking takes practice to pull it off naturally on camera. Kind of like what we saw today, only with more puking. In our case, we spend hours upon hours researching our topics, picks, and rankings to ensure that we don't have to make changes once the video has been completed. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking moments in comics. Multiple staff members also fact check and proofread the videos for quality control purposes. And if you don't have employees at your disposal, bouncing your research or script off a friend or a family member helps too. Nonetheless, mistakes will happen, unfortunately. And in our experience, the viewers are quick to highlight those. Number 6. It's more than just the content. As many of the entries on our lists require a decent explanation, we can't afford to cut corners for the sake of the video length. But as internet viewers have relatively short attention spans, we can't create excessively long clips either. Our length has increased from a couple of minutes to about 10 to 15 minutes, which we feel is the right length to give each entry enough consideration. If you're creating a fake news segment, a skit, a drama, or producing Let's Play videos, it's important to think about the right style, format, and length of your videos. For us, we found the appropriate length for top 10 lists. Others, like Epic Rap Battles or the Fine Brothers React series, found their own structure. The key is to find a format that you love, get close to perfecting your craft, and duplicate, 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 even if some say you're running out of ideas. Number 5. Add some stock media to get a professional edge. The million dollar question. 
Watch Mojo, where does all that background music you use come from? Welcome to WatchMojo.com. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. Depending on the nature of your clips, you may need to produce or license media, whether it's sound effects, video, or music. Shooting everything yourself may be ideal, but is oftentimes impossible. As such, stock media sources like Pond5 provide millions of royalty-free HD and 4K clips, as well as music, sound effects, illustrations, photos, and motion graphics templates, all of which you can license for use across multiple media without having to subscribe. Basically, you pay for what you need, as opposed to a subscription. WatchMojo relies on Pond5 and other sources for a lot of its stock media needs. Number 4. Pick the right platform. Producing your videos is half the battle, but it's just as important to think about publishing, distributing, and marketing your clips. When it comes to publishing and distribution, back in the day, producers had to worry about content management systems and content delivery networks. Over time, online video platforms like Brightcove, Uyala, or the JW Player, which you can see in action on WatchMojo.com's website, bundled many of these components to simplify things. What further streamlined this? YouTube, as it became the de facto platform for publishing video. WatchMojo gets over 200 million views each month on YouTube, while only getting one one-hundredth of that on our own site. While it doesn't hurt to have your own video living on a site of your own, having a presence on YouTube is extremely important. Number 3. Use Accurate Video Descriptors If a video gets published online with no metadata, does it actually get published? Metadata includes descriptors like the title, description, and keywords to explain your material so that search engines can properly identify, describe, and find your clip. On YouTube, thumbnails are also increasingly important. Together, the right metadata and thumbnail will be the difference between your video becoming popular or getting the tumbleweed treatment. However, thankfully, YouTube discourages false and misleading descriptions, so it's best to stay on point and avoid trying to game the audience. It takes years to win over an audience, but just a few misfires to lose it. Number 2. Distribute via social networks In the late 1990s and early 2000s, people found videos via search engines or video curating websites like eBombs World, etc. Eventually, people found their content through social media websites, and today, people discover and recover content when it's shared. If people like your content, they want to be the first to show it to their friends and family. As such, it's important to focus on YouTube first and foremost, but not to overlook the importance of Twitter and Facebook to build a community around your content. Hey, by the way, have you followed us on Twitter? Liked us on Facebook? Get to it! Number 1. Be realistic and patient. You can hope for a viral video, but don't depend on it. To grow your community, you can't just publish and market your videos and expect them to become popular. Relying on analytics to understand what's popular, why people watch, and who those people are is critical. When WatchMojo launched in January 2006, our videos touched on many different topics, and as such reached many different audiences. Over time, we focused on topics and formats we were interested in, including top 10 lists on comics, video games, movies, and more. What do they call it? They call it the Royale with cheese. This resulted in a shift from an extremely diverse audience to a predominantly male audience. Today, with nearly 10 million subscribers, we again have a very diverse audience, hence the varied nature of the lists we publish. But perhaps the most important keys to success are patience and persistence. It took us 8 years to reach 1 million subscribers, but in the past 2 years we've added 9 million more. Do you agree with our list? What else do you think makes for a great web video? For more informative top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.